Hello everyone, it's David from Automotive Press. As you know, there has been a lot of interesting discussions around EVs, whether we are moving ahead with EVs or whether people are pushing back. And that is a really interesting trend to look out for because the government, the automakers, in some cases the whole country is pushing toward EVs, but at the same time, the consumers are pushing back saying, hey, it is too difficult to find the infrastructure and sometimes it takes too long to charge these vehicles. So as a result, there seems to be growing interest back into hybrids or plug-in hybrids such as this one and maybe moving away a little bit from EVs. Well, we'll never know what's going to happen over the next several years. But one thing that we do know is that Akio Toyota in many ways was right when he said a couple years ago that the world needs a mixture of different solutions to meet the needs of today's market and also the future market because he was saying that it is almost impossible to just focus on EVs when the infrastructure is so difficult right now. Instead, he said the market needs a mixture of different things such as hybrids, plug-in hybrids, BEVs or battery electric vehicles, or maybe even hydrogen powered electric cars. So those are all possible solutions. And indeed, Akio's predictions about some of these trends are happening right now. And even though he doesn't say, I told you so, we kind of all know that Akio was right. Having said that, in five or six years, the entire world could change once again because Toyota is working on solid state batteries. If that comes into fruition, then you could charge, uh, you know, 1,000 miles or 1,600 kilometers in a matter of minutes, maybe just even 10 minutes or so. But up until then, I think the best solution right now, if you can actually get hold of one, is to buy a plug-in hybrid such as this one right here, which is a beautiful Lexus RX plug-in hybrid. So let me tell you seven reasons why I believe, for now anyway, plug-in hybrid vehicles are the best solutions for your needs today. Let's go. Welcome back. So the first reason why plug-in hybrids may represent the best solution and the best idea for today's market and for you right now anyway, until such time that we have new battery technology, is the fact that you don't have to have range anxiety. That's a huge thing for most of you because at some point you might run out of battery charge and you could get stranded. And in fact, I worry about that as well when I'm driving our Lexus RZ or our Z. We're constantly worried about the range. We're looking at that number to see if we can make it today or next day without charging. Uh, so range anxiety is a big deal. And with the plug-in hybrid, you don't have to worry because when the battery is out, well, it just simply switches on to a regular hybrid mode and you can keep on driving as long as you can fill up, which means you can just stop at any gas station, top up the gas and continue to drive like a normal car. And therefore, plug-in hybrid is so helpful simply because it eliminates the number one concern that we have for electric car owners, which is a range anxiety. The second reason why plug-in hybrids make so much sense is that in addition to not having range anxiety, well, you also don't have to worry about looking for uh, charging stations. That's another big concern for many EV owners is that they can't find a charging station so when they go there the system might be down or could be fully booked and you have to wait for a long time what is the point of having electric cars if you have to spend a lot of time just waiting around trying to find a place that you can plug in obviously most ideal if you can plug in at home but that's not always possible for many of you guys so with the plug-in hybrid you don't have to worry because if you just so happen that you can't find the charging stations don't charge it just top up the gas continue to drive. So just like the previous point that I made, with the plug-in hybrid, you don't have to have infrastructure anxiety. But at the end of the day, plug-in hybrids basically functions as a fully electric vehicle. In fact, my wife has a RAV4 Prime, which is a similar powertrain as this one here. And what that means is as long as you top off the battery every day or every couple of days, you can just drive complete as electric car. The gasoline engine never comes on unless it's a super cold winter in which the engine does come on temporarily. Otherwise, my wife's RAV4 drives as a full electric car and that's the exact same case with this one here, which is the RX 450H Plus that I'm driving this week. And the only thing you have to worry about is that every six months or so, you need to use up the gasoline in the gasoline tank and top it up because the gas can become old and it's not always good to have old gasoline running through the system. So every six months, you gotta top up with the fresh gas. But other than that, you never have to use gasoline and can just drive it as an electric car. The fourth point is the fact that you can actually choose to drive your plug-in hybrids in either the gasoline slash hybrid mode or the fully electric mode. You have a choice. So let's assume that uh, for yourself, 
you really like to drive in electric mode or maybe your spouse your, or your partner prefers to drive in hybrid mode well you can do either one and therefore you have a choice whereas if you buy a fully electric car then well it's always fully electric and if you only drive a, a hybrid car without the plug-in hybrid then it's always going to be in the hybrid mode which means engine is always being used and you can never quite drive it in the fully electric mode whereas in plug-in hybrid you have best of both worlds because you can drive in either mode and you have a choice the fifth point is an important one when you're buying a plug-in hybrid and this will depend greatly on where you live in terms of country or region because the rebates and government grants are different for different countries but in most cases plug-in hybrids qualify just like a fully electric vehicle and you get the same amount in some cases it's a little bit less but you still get a decent amount of grants or rebates for plug-in hybrid so you don't have to worry about losing out on the credits or grants just because you're buying a plug-in hybrid versus fully electric cars and it could add up to quite a bit of money right here in Canada for example we can get you know several thousand dollars of credit on buying a plug-in hybrid and that significantly lowers the cost of the plug-in hybrid to the point where sometimes plug-in hybrid is cheaper than buying the hybrids counterpart of that particular model so I think it makes sense to buy the PHEV because of the existing grants the sixth reason why plug-in hybrids makes so much sense is that right now the resale value is absolutely crazy on the plug-in hybrids partly because the new PHEV models are so hard to get by and there could be as much as three or four or even five year waiting list on some models such as RAV4 Prime and therefore driving up the used car price you can probably buy a Lexus NX or RX plug-in hybrid like this one and keep it for a couple of years and not lose any money at all that's the same for other plug-in hybrids as well especially if it's a Toyota, just because there's so much faith and trust in the Toyota plug-in hybrid system and the hybrid system in general. So the resale value is very high right now for plug-in hybrids, especially compared to fully electric vehicles, which seems to be depreciating quite a bit more than people thought. So not only do you get government rebates when you buy it, but you also get high resale value, which means that you get maximum value when you buy plug-in hybrids. The seventh and the final reason is a little bit of an emotional one because for some people buying electric cars is important because they feel that they're contributing to a better environment and a better world and for the most part that's true and therefore if you buy a plug-in hybrid well you're still doing that because for the most part you can drive it without using any gas you do have to use it every six months or so as I mentioned and you're emitting less emission compared to say uh, Lexus GX which is the one we own this is a V8 engine it's a beautiful SUV and we love this one but it does use up a lot of gas and it does emit um, exhaust so if you want to feel less guilty about the environment and try to contribute to the better world then plug-in hybrid has the same kind of emotional stability as buying electric vehicles so I hope this was helpful for you guys to figure out whether plug-in hybrid really makes sense for you or not the only challenge is the fact that you can't really get them in stock easily but the supply chain and the whole market has improved so right now if you were to order one such as this one here you can probably get one in let's say a 12 months or so is my estimate in some cases longer in some cases a little bit shorter but I do want to emphasize how much I'm enjoying the Lexus RX 450H Plus this week. This is the same powertrain that's actually in our RAV4 Prime and also the same powertrain that's in the Lexus NX plug-in hybrid as well. But somehow in the RX, this entire feel is very luxurious, very comfortable and smooth, super refined, and makes you feel like you're driving a car that costs much more than what this price tag might suggest. Now keep in mind that most Lexus RX are now built in Ontario, Canada, but this one, which is a plug-in hybrid, it's built in Japan. You can see the J in the beginning of the VIN number. And I can tell you right now that the quality of manufacturing on this particular model is absolutely phenomenal. The paint job, the actual fit and finish, the alignment of all the pieces of parts and the inside as well. Gorgeous interior. And look at the stitching or the plastic. There's no hard plastic. This is semi-hard, but these are all softer plastic and just the parts fit and alignment fit and finish absolutely world class so if you're looking for kind of mid-level luxury suv and you want the plug-in hybrid i highly recommend this particular one if you can get your hands on one because the rx 450h plus drives beautifully it's quiet refined like as i mentioned and looks gorgeous inside and out and it's going to give you a really high resale value plus a rebate up front as well so it's definitely a win-win solution a win-win product for many of you guys i hope you enjoyed my quick videos about seven reasons why plug-in hybrids 
is the right solution for today. And perhaps in five or six years, that might change. But for now, I think it makes sense for many of us. If you enjoyed my video, give me a thumbs up and make some comments. And if you haven't done so yet, would you kindly subscribe to my channel as well? Until next video, I'm signing off for now. Thank you so much.